Hello and welcome back to tuning in today's second video, so I've already done the five day forecast which you can find the video to add on the home page, just scroll down a little bit uh, here on the home page, um, five day forecast, it's better sort of a written version which you can get through via the buttons at the top of the page. This is the Beijing Climate Centre uh, month head or 40 day. Uh, look ahead video uh, taking us well into July. We're going to the middle part of July uh, with this update. Um, to be very interested to see what the Beijing Climate Centre is showing uh, this Wednesday. This is our semi regular feature. Most Wednesdays we'll be having a look at the next 40 days with the Beijing Climate Centre. So uh, I'll go over that in a second. Just say about the ads. You see it's for articles on other pages. Have a browse through the widgets and click through the links if there's any articles that you are interested in. Thanks very much for doing that. This video adds most pages. Which which own our content, we watch them at again, helps to pay for our website. Uh, you can find the link to Beijing Climate Centre on the links page. It's a very difficult website to uh, navigate, however, so uh, you'll need Google Translate or something like that. But you can see these charts for yourself via uh, the links page, um, which will take you to Beijing Climate Centre. So check out more of yourself if you would like to do that. Right, we'll start off with 500 millibar heights for the next 40 days. These are broken down into 10 day periods. And then we'll have a look at the corresponding temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those height anomalies. So, uh, well, as you know, with uh, 500 millibar heights, um, blue extrapolates to low pressure and uh, orange extrapolates to high pressure. Well, it, it, it's actually uh, temperature at 500 millibar. But when the temperature is low, when it's cold temperatures at 500 millibar, so it extrapolates to low pressure versus true. Uh, for warmer than average temperatures at 500 millibars. So uh, what we see for the um, for the coming 10 day period, these are broken down 10 day period, so the first 10 days takes from the 6th through to the 15th of June. What we see is that we've got a ridge here up to the uh, north and the northeast of the country uh, around here. And we've got this deep trough down to the southwest, which means the flow goes something uh, like that. Uh, it looks fairly cool that over towards eastern parts of Europe and uh, western Russia. For us, however, we're on the warm side of this trough ridge pattern, so it's actually quite warm. Uh, albeit unsettled, this trough is providing the energy with the warmth, probably, for uh, some heavy thundery showers and thundery rain. Um, but it isn't cold, it's a fairly warm scenario, that one. We go through to the next 10 day period, this taking us from the 16th through to the 25th of uh, June. So this is um, sort of taking us into the Glastonbury period, all important, uh, of course, anybody going to that. And this looks quite unsettled. Trough of low pressure to the north, a ridge uh, going down to the south. The, the uh, flow is reverting westerly here. We're bringing the jet stream through the country. So this is cooler and more unsettled conditions, really, uh, for this 10-day period. It could be quite wet, especially in the north and the west. We go through to the next 10-day period, going from the 26th of June through to the 5th of July. So we sort of go into the second month of the summer. And we find ridge, um, a ridge building to the south again. The Azores High is strengthening a little bit, particularly around uh, Spain. The trough of low pressure is still there to the northwest of Scotland, but it is weaker. Jet stream is being pushed a bit further north as well. So this could still be fairly changeable, especially for the north of the country, the south. Probably, again, a lot of dry weather as this ridge builds in uh, from the south. And then we go to the uh, final 10-day period, which takes us from the 6th of July through to the 15th of July, so into the middle part of next month. And it looks like it turns unsettled again, really, through this period. The ridge um, this time pulls out in towards the central part of the Atlantic, and we send this trough down over the UK and also into central parts of Europe. Now, that could be really quite cool and rather unsettled. The jet stream would do something uh, like that, I would think. So, um, it's not great, that one, for the, uh, July. Uh, going into the middle part of July, that does look really quite cool and probably quite changeable as well. That's day 31 to 40, so it's right at the extended end of all of this. I wouldn't necessarily be all that concerned about it yet but um not all that good really there as going into the 10 uh, into the 10 day period from the 6th through to the 15th of july let's see how the temperature anomalies are, are uh, looking then so the first 10 days well, 10 days that we're in the 6th through to the 15th of 
uh, through the 15th of the month of June, uh, looking significantly warmer than average in most deep uh, sort of orange and even red colours there, so very warm week or very warm 10-day period coming up. Um, days 11 to 20 look cooler. Uh, the flow reverts westerly, remember, so it uh, turns cooler there um, from the 16th through to 25th of June. Temperatures lower and go a little bit cooler than average. The uh, next 10 days, as the ridge builds up from the south, remember, the jet stream starts to push back north again from the 26th of June through to the 5th of July, and that goes warmer than average again. Uh, and then the final 10-day period, look at this, the jet stream digs south, and we send the trough down and across the country and to the east, and uh, that goes cooler again. So it does look a very changeable period coming up with um, warmer, cooler, warmer, cooler uh, being the signal in terms of the temperatures. The precipitation, um, days 1 through to uh, 10, looking like this. So the coming 10 days, essentially. And it's wetter than average. So despite being significantly warmer than average during this 10-day period, it's also a bit wetter than average or quite substantially wetter uh, than average. And a lot of that's probably in the form of thundery downpours uh, from this warm, humid air that we've got uh, associated with pattern, of course. Um, days uh, 11 through to 20, which is the 16th through to 25th of June, generally looking wetter than average. This time it's more Atlantic base rainfall though so the temperature of course we know is cooling down as winds go into the west uh the next 10 days which is um days 21 to 30 26th of june through to the 5th of july that one again still in the north looks a little bit wet and average for the south it does seem to be a bit drier than average remember here the ridge is building up from spain and france probably turning it warmer and certainly a bit drier uh there and then the final 10-day period, which is days 31 through to 40, uh, the 6th through to the 15th of July, when it's going significantly cooler than average, it's also going significantly wetter than average as well. So a very poor 10 days coming up there uh, through that sort of second week of July, uh, if you like. That does look quite concerning because we're going into mid-summer uh, then. And what can often happen in uh, the UK summer is that you'll get the early pattern through June, um, which doesn't necessarily continue through the summer. But when you get to July, uh, especially around the middle part of July, the pattern then can often be one that locks in uh, for the summer. So, uh, obviously, we won't want that to be locking in uh, for the summer, the pattern that it's going for there in the middle part of July. It is days 31 to 40. It's a long way off, so I wouldn't necessarily be that concerned about it. But uh, quite a changeable period coming up, really. Um, I think that's what we can take from this update of BCC Wednesday today. Uh, we start off really quite warm and thundery. Then we go westerly and cooler, changeable Atlantic-driven stuff. Then early July, maybe a bit warmer, especially in the south and drier. I mean, it all goes down the tubes as we get through to the middle of July, when it looks distinctly cool and wet so um up and down with temperatures up and down with the rainfall generally quite a changeable outlook um that's how it's looking today we'll do it all over again uh, next wednesday of course and on friday it's jma friday so we'll have a look at the uh japanese and cfsv2 models for the coming month and see if they're in agreement with this later on today there'll be the third update for lamar and if i've got time i'm really pushing it today with the updates may be able to get in a final update for the isle of white and download uh, festivals but that's all for now and thanks for watching